Let's move on next to today's uh, other Group E game, which was also a shocker. Uh, it saw underdogs Sierra Leone come back to tie with favorites Ivory Coast, uh, that tie 2-2. Two to two. Absolutely, and the manner in which the Ivory Coast uh, conceded that late draw is certainly what's going to be attracting headlines. Uh, goalkeeper Sangare falling over the ball, slips under his body, and then it is uh, just a tap-in for Alhaji Kamara at the back post, which was uh, sensational, really, in the 93rd minute, that equaliser coming after Sierra Leone. Much like Equatorial Guinea put in a very dogged performance, very stubborn performance. Now, it must be said that the Ivory Coast, the elephants, will be absolutely gutted with their performance because they missed a host of chances to put the game to bed. After 10 minutes, you thought that they would be running away with the victory. Frank Kessier missed a penalty which was obtained by the electric uh, Wilfred Zaha. Then Kessier missed another good opportunity before Sebastian Haller got his first goal of the competition following a brilliant pass by Zaha. But after that, uh, Ivory Coast sat back. They invited Sierra Leone to come forwards. They didn't really press. And yes, it was a performance perhaps that was controlled where Sierra Leone failed to threaten too much, but immediately they were undone. Uh, Buya Toure uh, forcing good saves and then Musa with a goal in the second half, right at the beginning of the second half. So essentially the Ivory Coast before the Algeria game, this was a terrible result for them. The players very gutted uh, at the end of the match. But after the Algeria draw, well, it means that the Elephants only need a point from their final group stage match to ensure that they qualify. And incidentally, a point would also knock out the favourites Algeria, or one of the favourites Algeria. So it could be a double-ended sword for the Ivory Coast. We'll have to see exactly what happens. But Patrice Bommel will certainly want to address uh, the Elephants' lack of uh, clinical ability in front of goal. And Simon, you actually spoke uh, to some of the players from Sierra Leone. Uh, let's take a listen to those sound bites if we have them. Uh, I feel surreal, but it's obviously one of our targets. We didn't just come here to, to be involved, we came here to compete. So hopefully, hopefully we can get the job done in the next game. It's, it's, it's special, it's special, and uh, we have to celebrate this, you know? I mean, that's how we've been doing it. We, we, we are here to, in this tournament, it's been 25 years, and now finally we're here again. So we have to celebrate every game by game. I only just jo recently joined up a few months ago, so I, like, it's so exciting to be here. Uh, I love being a part of the group. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to the guys who, who helped get us here and, and haven't, quite, haven't made the squads, because everyone's played their part, you know? So uh, it really is a team effort, and uh, we're just enjoying every bit of it.